In this video, you're going to learn how to find the arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, or sine inverse, cosine inverse, tangent inverse, however you want to say that, using the unit circle. And we're going to go through 15 problems here. See if you can do these on your own. But the first thing I want to talk about is when you're finding the sine inverse and the tangent inverse, you want to make sure that you find the angle between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So it's going to be in these two quadrants right here. Now what you don't want to do, if you end up here in the fourth quadrant, you don't want to go all the way around like that. You just want to make it a negative angle. And when you find the arc cosine or the cosine inverse, you're going to be restricted from 0 to pi. Okay, and the reason that is is because if you look at the sine graph, okay, see how the sine graph goes like this, it keeps repeating? This would fail the horizontal line test, meaning that the inverse is not a function. So what mathematicians decided to do is they decided to restrict it from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. See just this part of the graph right here, so that it passes that horizontal line test, meaning that when you go to solve this, you're just going to get one solution. Otherwise, you could keep going around the circle as many times as you wanted, and you could get you know an infinite number of answers. So you can see. We're restricting from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Also with tangent, see how tangent looks like this? You learn how to graph these. Uh, but see how it repeats? So this would also fail that horizontal line test, meaning that the inverse is not a function, unless we just restrict it from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Again, that puts us in the first and fourth quadrants over here to the right. Now when you look at cosine, again, cosine repeats is failing that horizontal line test unless we restrict it from 0 to pi. So we're just looking at this part of the graph right here, okay, and that's in the first and second quadrants. So let's go through some examples and then see if you can do some of these on your own. So if we want to find out what's the sine inverse of negative square root 3 over 2, what that's really asking us is sine of what angle equals negative square root 3 over 2. So what we can do is we can go to our unit circle, which I'm sure you've probably memorized. If not, you can check out my Mastering the Unit Circle video. And we'd say to ourselves, where is the sine negative root 3 over 2? Now remember, sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So we say, all right, well, I can know that um, the y is negative root 3 over 2 here. It's also negative root 3 over 2, but remember, we're just restricted from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So you can see I'm going negative pi over 3, okay? You don't want to go all the way around like this, just make it a negative angle. So negative pi over 3 is our answer to that first one. For number 2, what's the cosine inverse of negative 1, meaning cosine of what angle equals negative 1? Now remember on the unit circle, cosine is going to be the x-coordinate. And remember, where is the x-coordinate negative 1? That's going to be right here at pi. And remember when we're solving for the cosine inverse restricted from 0 to pi, so you can see the answer here is going to be just pi. For number 3, what do you think for this one? The tangent inverse of 0, meaning the tangent of what angle equals 0. Remember on the unit circle, tangent is the y divided by the x. Okay, So where is the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate? 0. Well, that would be here. 0 over 1 is 0. Okay, So this would be at 0 radians. Or it could be over here, but you can see this is not in the restricted domain. So for tangent inverse, we want to be from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So it's just going to be 0 radians. Okay, for number 4, uh, what's the arc sine of negative 1 half? Now see this arc sine or sine inverse? It's just a different way of writing the same thing. This is just asking a sine of what angle equals negative 1 half on this restricted domain from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Well, remember when we're talking about sine, we're looking for the y coordinates negative 1 half. That's going to be right here at negative pi over 6. Okay, let's look at number 5. What's the arc cosine of negative square root 3 over 2? Meaning cosine of what angle equals negative root 3 over 2? Remember cosine, we're restricted from 0 to pi. That's in these first two quadrants. Where does cosine equal negative root 3 over 2? That's where the x coordinate is negative root 3 over 2. That's going to be at 5 pi over 6. Okay, for number 6, the arc tangent of negative 1. This is saying tangent of what angle equals negative 1. And remember, tangent on the unit circle is the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So you can see it's going to be negative 1 here because anything divided by itself is 1, and negative divided by positive is a negative 1. So this would be negative pi over 4, okay? 
And that's going to be our answer because remember, we're restricted from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 when we're doing the sine inverse or tangent inverse. What do you think for number 7? What's the sine inverse of 0, meaning sine of what angle equals 0? Well, sine, remember, is the y coordinate. You can see the y coordinate is going to be 0 right here at 0 radians. Okay, how about number 8? The cosine inverse of 0. So cosine of what angle equals 0? Cosine on the unit circle is the x coordinate. The x coordinate is 0 right here at pi over 2. And remember, with cosine inverse, we're restricted from 0 to pi. So it's just that one solution. For number 9, the tangent inverse of square root of 3. Okay, so this is saying tangent of one angle equals square root of 3. Now remember, tangent is a little bit trickier. It's the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So here, you can see tangent is going to be root 3 at pi over 3, because square root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half gives you square root of 3. So what did we say? That was pi over 3. Now, what you can do is, let's take square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. See, if you multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, see how those 2's cancel? And you just get square root 3 over 1, which is square root of 3. For number 10, the arc sine of 1 half, this is saying sine of what angle equals 1 half. So remember, on the unit circle, uh, sine is the y coordinate. Where does the y coordinate equal 1 half? Right here at pi over 6. And again, remember, we're restricted from here to here, negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So that's pi over 6. Arc cosine of 1 half. Cosine of what angle equals a half? Cosine, remember, is the x coordinate. Where is the x coordinate a half? From 0 to pi. That's going to be right here at pi over 3. Okay, number 12. See if you can do this one. Arc tangent of negative square root 3 over 3. This is saying tangent of what angle equals negative root 3 over 3, or where does the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate equal negative root 3 over 3 from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2? Well, that's going to be right here at negative pi over 6. Now, the Tangent ones tend to be a little bit tougher, okay, because you have to divide the y by the x. But just to show you here, we have negative 1 half divided by positive square root 3 over 2. Again, if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, see how those cancel? Anything divided by itself, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that's not changing the value here uh, of the fraction. And we get negative 1 over root 3, and then if you rationalize that by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 3, that gives you negative square root of 3 over square root of 9, which is 3. For number 13, what's the sine inverse of negative root 2 over 2? Well, this is saying we're, where is sine uh, equal to negative root 2 over 2 from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Sine's the y-coordinate, so that's going to be right here at negative pi over 4. Okay, two more. See if you can do these last two. We've got cosine inverse of root 3 over 2, meaning cosine of what angle equals square root 3 over 2 from 0 to pi. This is where the x coordinate is root 3 over 2. You can see that's going to be right here at pi over 6, or 30 degrees. And then number 15, oh, tangent inverse of 1. This is saying tangent of what angle equals 1. Remember, tangent's y over x. And that's going to occur right here because anything divided by itself is 1. So that's going to be pi over 4. So if you're enjoying my videos, subscribe to the channel. And I've got an organized list of videos on my Myers Math Tutoring uh, website. You can check that out. I'll have a link in the description below with an organized list of videos going through you know, a typical Algebra 2 course um, as well as a pre-calculus course. Wherever you're learning these particular concepts, I have it broken down um, by chapter. So check that out. I look forward to seeing the future videos, and I'll talk to you soon.